In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the Adobe logo on a Spark project. What's up guys, my name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where we help you start and scale a print on demand business. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Adobe Spark. So let's jump into some over the shoulder. So here we are inside of Spark Post, Adobe Spark's uh, graphic editor tool. Uh, I have my print on demand design here that I'm all ready to download and use on a project, but I notice that there is an Adobe Spark logo down here. And it's fairly simple to remove. All you have to do is click on it, and then we're gonna be clicking this remove once button. We hit learn more, it will take us to the same place, but it won't actually remove the logo. So we have to make sure we hit remove once. Once we click this, it's gonna open up a new tab with kind of a sales page where they're gonna tell you all the great reasons why you should upgrade and pay them monthly, which is fine if you're doing lots of social media stuff, but for our print on demand business, I have not found this helpful. So we still have the free starter plan, but you can just go ahead and close out of this tab and it will bring you right back to your project with that logo removed. So to show you guys that this worked, we're gonna go up here and click this download button. And then we're gonna download this as a PNG with a transparent background. Once it's fully downloaded, it should appear in the bottom left if you're using Google Chrome, uh, and then it's going to open up. And you can see that there is no Adobe logo down here in the bottom right-hand corner, which is exactly what we wanted. So I hope that tip was helpful. If you'd like to see more tips like that for Spark, you can click up here. And if you'd actually like to see me use this tool for our print-on-demand business and how I design, you can click this playlist down here. <laughs> 